In Sardu Valley, there are 28 main villagers that you can interact with. Many of them grow and change as you spend time with them. Becoming better people. Maybe even becoming a husband or wife. One of those people is Shane. I hate him. Why do I hold such animosity in my heart? Well, the internet told me to, and I'm just very susceptible to peer pressure. What does that have to do with this video? Well, just to spice things up, rather than a normal Stardew Valley video, I will be making it a semi-speedrun to marry Shane. I, I say semi because there are two wolves inside of me. One who wants to challenge myself to move as fast as possible, and the other who wants to take my time destroying this small town. Both wolves are gay. Alright, let's jump into it. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Brother, you're a bit late for that. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Damn, you're one to talk for someone who's almost dead. <laughs> dead as hell. <laughs> That's why Evelyn left yo ass for George. I wonder if I should start the timer before or after the opening cutscene. Wow, that, that guy's a little too excited to be working. Bro, I got a camera on him and he's still typing with one hand. He's just like me, for real, for real. Oh wait, damn it, I, I just realized something. Alright, I'm gonna restart the run because I just remembered a trick I figured out by watching Stardew Valley streamers. If you make your character's name and the farm's name dual brackets with a number inside of it, whenever an NPC says your name, it gives you the item assigned to that value. Too bad I don't remember the actual values of any of the items, so uh, yeah, we're, we're just winging it. 90% of this video is taking the don't try this trick at home and then trying the trick at home with no knowledge of how it actually works. Hello! You must be. It worked! Let's go! 212387. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to- wait. Why am I reading this? <laughs> this is supposed to be a speedrun! Well, since skipping through the cutscene might take a few minutes, here's a fun story to pass the time. When I first started playing this game, I wanted to marry Robin. There was something about her personality that I kind of just liked. But sadly, she's already married. Although it is a second marriage, so hey. You know, third time's the charm if you know what I mean. After I gave up on her, I met Penny. She asked me what kind of girl I liked, and my character must have looked her dead in the eyes and said men because I just proceeded to date half the dudes in town after that. If you're curious, I'm not even gay in real life, I just really like the personality of the guys that much more. We stan Elliot. That aside, let's get into explaining some of my basic speedrunning tactics. Step 1. Move fast. Step 2. Win. With that out of the way, the most important part of raising friendship for an NPC is by giving them gifts. Every NPC has a list of loved, liked, neutral, and disliked objects that can be given to them twice a week. God forbid I give Shane a third pinecone to add to his collection, now that that's just excessive. Shane has one of the easier loved gifts, beer, which can be bought from the saloon right off the bat for 400g. That means the only thing I really need to get him up to max is a hell of a lot of money. And so I began to plant the starter plants I got and slept for pretty much 5 days straight. One of the starting quests is to talk to all 28 villagers. I'm not going to leave my room for about half a year. Just like in real life. I was rummaging through the local trash like the little raccoon I am when I bumped into Shane for the first time. Literally. Look at him. Dummy can't even move. You will love me! I, I don't really like this. Well, I don't really like that attitude. After that, I had some time to kill before the saloon opened, so I went around giving people dirt and eating tiny flowers. Now that I think about it, this run is uncannily similar to my childhood. All it's missing is a few drops on the head to get my signature comedic style. I didn't realize the mines opened up so early in the game, and I decided to go spelunking. One of the wolves inside of me wanted to drop off my items in a chest, so I didn't have a literal full inventory going into it. The other wolf thought it would be funny to imagine all the angry comments. Both wolves are comfortable enough with their heterosexuality to make jokes about them being gay online. I fought a bunch of slimes and one of them dropped some fire drip. I used that ice to slide all the way down to level 9, but the drip was so strong I was drowning. My character could barely walk. I was on my last legs praying to find a single ladder so I could save all the cool stuff I found. I was just so close, but I couldn't give up. Still, despite everything, despite my best efforts, I failed and passed out in the mines. Yay! Foraging level 1! Let's go! I spent the next few days going around scavenging, fishing, and giving people literal trash. I'm waiting until Shane's 20th birthday to start gifting him consistently, because once you go above one heart level, 
every day you don't interact with the NPC, they lose some friendship. This means that I really only had until day 20 to stockpile as much money as Beer could buy in preparation for his birthday, but it was not enough. So I think I'm gonna leave this episode here and just spend a whole bunch of time more fishing. With that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Also, I forgot to mention, Shane is a struggling alcoholic. <laughs>